You might be amazed to learn that the title of the fastest man-made object in space isn't held by the iconic Saturn V rocket or even the cutting-edge SpaceX Starship. It actually belongs to an incredible probe. Now, these research probes are designed to dive deep into the mysteries of the sun and distant planets, achieving astonishing speeds to cover vast distances in record time. While their small size and remote control make them highly efficient, they do come with their own unique challenges for maneuverability. But don't worry, we have a diverse array of spacecraft exploring the cosmos. Below you'll find an exciting list of the fastest man-made spacecraft ever. Let's take a journey through the stars together. Let's start with number 15, Space Shuttle. The shuttle's main engines, after solid rocket boosters are jettisoned, provide thrust to accelerate the orbiter from 4,800 km per hour to over 28,000 km per hour, and it takes about 6 minutes to reach orbit. This speed is achieved in the upper atmosphere, where air resistance is minimal as the shuttle accelerates during its ascent into space. Next, we come to number 14, Apollo 10. Apollo 10 reached a top speed of almost 40,000 km per hour during its return from the moon on May 26, 1969, according to NASA and Wikipedia. As the spacecraft rapidly approached Earth on the final day of the mission, the Apollo 10 crew traveled faster than any humans before or since. At number 13 comes a robotic space probe known as Ulysses. The recorded top speed of the probe was 40,680 km per hour. The primary mission of this spacecraft was to orbit the Sun and study it at all latitudes. It was launched in 1990 and made three fast latitude scans of the Sun in 1994, 2000, and 2007. In addition, the probe also studied several comets. At number 12 spot, we have Stardust. The primary mission of Stardust was to collect dust samples from the comet known as Wild 2. The top speed of the probe was approximately 46,400 km per hour relative to Earth during its mission. However, during its closest approach to Comet Wild 2 in 2004, Stardust was moving at about 22,000 km per hour relative to the comet which is the key speed relevant for its sample collection. Number 11, we have the Voyager 2. The NASA space probe was launched in 1977 as part of the Voyager program. At over 55,000 km per hour, Voyager 2 is known for being the only spacecraft to have visited Uranus and Neptune, and it has also traveled into interstellar space. Voyager 2 continues to operate and transmit data, although some instruments have been shut down to conserve power. Let us come to number 10, New Horizons. The spacecraft is an interplanetary probe that launched on 2006 and is currently on a mission to explore the Kuiper Belt, including Pluto and its moons. It made history as the first spacecraft to fly by Pluto in 2015. New Horizons' top speed relative to Earth at launch was 58,580 km per hour. Number 9 comes the Voyager 1. Now, the Voyager 1 and 2 are similar in appearance and size. Voyager 2 was launched first on August 20, 1977 followed by Voyager 1 on September 5, 1977. Even though Voyager 1 was launched later, it had a faster trajectory. It travels a top speed of 61,500 km per hour and arrived at Jupiter first in March 1979. Number 8, Pioneer 10. The spacecraft travels a top speed of 132,000 km per hour. Pioneer 10's mission was to study Jupiter's atmosphere, magnetosphere and satellites as well as solar wind parameters and dust distribution. The spacecraft is fitted with identical gold plaques intended to serve as messages for extraterrestrial life. Pioneer 10 is currently in the constellation of Taurus. Next, we have the Cassini-Huygens. 
Cassini was traveling about 141 and 600 kilometers per hour relative to Earth's center, but only about 9,800 kilometers per hour relative to Saturn's center. The Cassini-Huygens mission was a joint space exploration effort by NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency to study Saturn and its system, including its rings and moons. At number 6 spot, we have Pioneer 11. Pioneer 10 and 11 were twin missions launched by NASA to explore the outer solar system. Pioneer 10, launched in 1972, was the first to fly by Jupiter and traverse the asteroid belt, while Pioneer 11, launched in 1973, was the first to fly by Saturn. Both are now heading out of the solar system and are no longer in contact with Earth. Now we finally come to the top 5, Galileo. The top speed of Galileo was 173,800 km per hour. That is like 140 times the speed of sound on Earth's atmosphere. While its aim was to study Jupiter and its mysterious moons, which it did with much success, NASA's Galileo mission also became notable for discoveries during its journey to the gas giant. It was the first spacecraft to visit two asteroids, the Gaspra and Ida. Number 4. Helios-1 The Helios-1 mission was a joint German-American project to study solar processes and solar terrestrial relationships. Launched in 1974, it aimed to investigate the interplanetary medium, particularly between Earth's orbit and about 0.3 astronomical units from the Sun. The mission successfully traveled closer to the Sun than any previous spacecraft, reaching 47 million kilometers from Earth. On the third spot, we have Helios 2. Helios 2 achieved a speed of 157,000 meters per hour, and that was in 1976. Helios 1 and Helios 2 were twin space probes, and both were designed to study the solar wind and other solar phenomena. Helios 2 passed closer to the Sun than Helios 1, allowing for closer observations and more intense radiation exposure. The second fastest man-made object is the Juno. When arriving at Jupiter, the planet's gravity pulls in Juno faster and faster, until the spacecraft reaches a speed over 250,000 km per hour. Juno's primary mission is to measure the planet Jupiter's composition, magnetic and gravity fields, and polar magnetosphere. It also investigates the planet's formation and origin. The probe also finds out the amount of water present in its atmosphere, and learn whether Jupiter has a rocky core or not. And now, the fastest ever man-made spacecraft is NASA's Parker Solar Probe. It has achieved speeds exceeding 692,000 km per hour or 430,000 meters per hour as it approaches the Sun. It is designed to study the Sun's corona, solar wind, and magnetic field by approaching the Sun closer than any previous spacecraft. Launched on August 12, 2018, it travels in a highly elliptical orbit using Venus' gravity to gradually approach the Sun. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one. Take care.